Here at Makani Lodge, we have just received our very first electric vehicle from Electric Safari Vehicles, and we are the first lodge within the Timbavati Private Nature Reserve to have an electric vehicle. And over the last week, we've been testing it out. We were a bit curious in the beginning how animals would react to it. And we've been very fortunate. We've been able to follow uh, leopards marking their territories, follow female lionesses and their cubs. And no, not running away from us, didn't charge us. They were perfectly relaxed, just as if we were driving a normal vehicle where the engine makes a louder noise. Just that the silence is indescribable as we're moving around through the bush it is it's just dead silent when guests are asking me questions i can hear them when i'm talking back to them i'm still on the move i can talk back to them they can hear me and these are guests sitting right at the back of the vehicle so everyone in the vehicle from the front front row to the back row are getting the full experience now the communication between myself and my tracker has improved. There's no noise from the engine. We can talk to each other softly. We don't have to scream or talk loudly over the, the screaming engine. And also for photographers and videographers, there's hardly any vibration. The vehicle, when starting, when you leave the lodge, we start the vehicle up and uh, we never turn the vehicle off. When we stop for a sighting, simply put our foot on the brake view the animal, film the animal, and when we need to move, we just put our foot down on the accelerator and we move. So there's never ever vibrations of starting up the vehicle. When we're moving into sightings where another vehicle might be parked, whether it be watching lions or a leopard up in a tree, if one of the guests in those vehicles are filming, they don't even hear us coming in. If we need to reposition the vehicle, you just put your foot on the accelerator and the vehicle moves off in dead silence and it has been an absolute blast and I'm looking forward over the next couple of years until all our whole fleet of vehicles will be electric.